Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. Last week, I believe it was on Friday, Donald Trump showed that he could not fulfill all of his campaign promises, at least for the present. Because even though he has a Republican Senate and a Republican House, he could not repeal Obamacare, as he had promised. He could not replace Obamacare, another one of his campaign promises, nor could he defund Planned Parenthood. And the huge irony of this is, that during Obama's administration, the House and the Senate, both of them voted to defund Planned Parenthood, for example, several times. Of course, they knew that Obama would veto that legislation. Is that why they passed it? Just to score points with their electorate. I believe a lot of them are phonies because they've had more than two months now to defund Planned Parenthood, and nothing has happened. And they have all kinds of excuses. But now I am going to tell you why Donald Trump has failed in these three promises. And he will continue to fail on all of his campaign promises, those major ones anyway, because of what is explained in Bible prophecy, in Micah chapter 5, and Isaiah 45. And the reason is because he has yet to convert to Catholicism. I know a lot of people think it's amusing that the witches cast spells to attack Donald Trump, but I'm telling you that is far more effective than you think. And Donald Trump does not have the weapons yet to defeat the one world government and the one world religion. He must start wearing Mary's scapular, that's his defensive weapon and ours, and he must pray Mary's rosary, and he must lead the remnant Catholic Church. So now let's look at Micah chapter number 5, which explains why Donald Trump could not carry through on his campaign promises. And now this is the New International Version, chapter 5, verse number 3. Therefore Israel, now Israel is Micah and Isaiah's code word for the remnant Catholic Church of these end times not the Roman Catholic Church. That has been co-opted by the false prophet, Pope Francis. The holy city is being trampled underfoot by the Gentiles for 42 months, as John prophesies in Revelation chapter 12, verse number, excuse me, chapter 11, verse number 2. Therefore, Israel will be abandoned. In other words, these promises that Donald Trump made, he cannot carry through on until the time when she who is in labor bears a son. And as you know, this September 23rd is when the woman in labor appears in the constellations. This is the prophecy that must be fulfilled at that time. And that's why Micah mentions until the time. And there is a date associated with that great sign. And as I've been saying all along, by the way, other people who claim to have discovered this sign are not telling you the truth. I published the very first video on the great sign, and I will put a link to it below. When she who is in labor bears a son, and this is also found in Revelation chapter 12, and the rest of his brothers, this is Donald Trump's brothers, that is his Protestant brethren, they must convert return to join the Israelites. Now, that doesn't mean they become Jewish. It means they become the Israelites of the end times, and that is the remnant Catholic Church. Now, the King James Version is almost the same. Let's look at the American King James Version. Therefore, will he give them up? In other words, Donald Trump cannot support his promised agenda. He cannot support the remnant Catholic Church until he converts, until the time the time, the date, September 23rd, that she which travails shall bring forth, September 23rd. Then the remnant of his brothers, his Protestant brethren, shall return to the children of Israel. They will convert to Catholicism. 
let's look at the Catholic version, which is almost identical. Douay Reims Bible. Therefore will he give them up. He won't protect the remnant Catholic Church. He won't protect the true revealed truth of the Gospels of Jesus Christ because he is a professing Protestant. Even to the time wherein she that travaileth shall bring forth and the remnant of his brethren, the rest of his Protestant brethren, shall be converted to the children of Israel. I don't think Micah could be much clearer what he must do. And I've come to understand that this date in the Constellations, on September 23rd this fall, I've been saying all along that this is the date when these things will occur. I now understand that this is the deadline. They must occur by this date. Otherwise, Donald Trump is never going to achieve his promises up during the campaign. And the people are going to have to suffer through great trials and tribulations in this country. And the reason is because our current president is actually Barack Obama. His policies are still in effect. The swamp has not been drained. All of his creatures in the swamp are running the government. They are the deep state. And that is why Planned Parenthood is still funded. That's why Obamacare has not been repealed. And until Donald Trump converts, as prophesied in Micah and in Isaiah, his policies will just be shadows of what they could be. I hope and pray, and you should hope and pray, you should pray Mary's Rosary also, that Donald Trump will convert. Hopefully the sooner the better. And I want to end on this program that I have made one more amazing discovery. And that is that Isaiah 45, which is about King Cyrus, in other words, Donald Trump, and Micah chapter 5 are not only related, they are interrelated. In other words, they must be melded into one chapter. This is one of the most amazing prophecies I have come to understand. And I'm not through analyzing it yet, but I want to give you a heads up if you want to read those two chapters. They are not quite understandable as they are printed in your Bibles. If you meld them together the way you have to meld, for example, uh, Daniel's chapter 10 and chap chapter 12 into one chapter, if you want to understand the prophecies, you have to do the same thing with Micah's chapter 5 and Isaiah's 45. And this shows that it's very possible that all of these prophecies, which I have been talking about on this program and showing how you have to rearrange the verses, it's possible they were not sealed up by the prophets themselves, but rather under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Because how else could you have two different prophets giving part in one chapter by Isaiah and part in another chapter by Micah? This is very unusual. I've never seen it before myself. No one else, of course, has ever understood it. And I hope that will be the topic of my next program. And until then, if you want to know more about my ministry here on YouTube, visit my thirdeaglemedia.com website.